And so my first year at Northwestern, I was placed in the highest orchestra and we did Mahler's seventh symphony. And I will never forget that moment at the end of the concert. It's a 90 minute piece, very long, no intermission. And we played the last note and the entire audience rose to their feet. And in that moment, it was so exciting. I said, this is what I have to do the rest of my life. You know, when we find our passion in life, I don't think we can explain it sometimes. And for me, I know I've always been drawn to music. However, it was whenever I started hearing orchestras, that's when my eyes were opened. And there's something magical that happens when I'm playing in the middle of the orchestra and these sounds and these colors and the timbres of all these different instruments are literally surrounding me. That to me is such a powerful experience. You know, it's, it's one big family is how it feels on stage. So the way you make a sound on the flute, and this is how I first started in my very first lesson, is we start with just the head joint right here, and then you put it right there, and then you blow across it just like you would blow across a Coke bottle. <laughs> so that's a fun little game to play at your first lesson. Once you, you get a solid sound and it's pretty consistent, we put it on the body of the flute like this. And I get different colors by changing the vowels of you know, the shape of my mouth. And then when I change my vowel to an ooh, It's got a much hazier sound, which we can we can use. So that's just two of the many colors and timbres that we can create with the flute and with every instrument. We all have our own way, you know, to create it. But that's how I do it with the flute, and uh, it keeps it interesting. So I recently performed Ibera's Concerto for Flute and Orchestra with the APO, and obviously every little thing is heard. Every note, every dynamic, every you know pitch everything is is heard. So my preparation for that piece started as soon as they asked me to play it, which is about nine months prior to the performance. But what I love about playing a concerto is that you can lead. When you are a soloist in front of the orchestra playing a concerto, uh, it really is, you know, how you want to play the piece. And a great conductor will follow you and will, will make it comfortable for you.